Hello everyone, welcome back to Corporate Wala, the channel which helps you get your dream job. Today I am back with another exciting video and in today's video, we are going to look at some of the most important Excel function which you should master before going for your next Accenture, Genpec, TCS or EXL MNC interview. If you are new on this channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any such important videos in future as well. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first and most important function which we are going to look today is VLOOKUP. Now what do you mean by VLOOKUP? It stands for vertical lookup and it is used to find specific information within a large data set. How do we use VLOOKUP? You have to type VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value comma table array comma column index number comma range lookup and bracket close. Now here how it works. Your lookup value is going to be your value which you want to search for. Your table array is going to be the range from where you want to search for the lookup value. The column index number refers to the column number in the table array from which the result should be returned and the range of lookup is an optional field where you have to type true or one for approximate match or zero or false for exact match. Let's deep dive into this a furthermore. So your formula will look like something like this. Here you can see your lookup value is the value. What do you want to look for? Then the table array is the value. Where do you want to look for it? The column index number value is going to be the value. If you find it, how many columns to the right do you want to get the value from? So there is one limitation of VLOOKUP formula. It can only find the value from the right side of the lookup value. If you have any value which is in the left side, it won't be able to find it. Then you have the range lookup, which is do you want an exact match or approximate match? Okay, so this was the breakdown of the formula. It is very important to understand the formula because you won't be able to remember it no matter how much hard you try. Now let's look at some of the example how we can use the VLOOKUP formula in our day to day work. So let's take one example. Imagine you have a table of employee information with their names and corresponding salaries. You want to find out the salary of an employee named Chandler. Using VLOOKUP, you can do it very easily. So what you have to do is type VLOOKUP, press tab. Now your brackets are open. Next thing it wants us to select is lookup value. So what do we want to look for? Chandler's salary. So my lookup value is Chandler. I'll just now click on the comma. Now it is asking for the table array. So what was my table array? The value from where we want to get the data. So my table array is going to be this table from where I want to get the data. Then I'll again press the comma. Now column index number. So column index number was my column from where I want to get the data. So here this is my name section and this is my salary section. So where is my salary in the column number one, two. So I'll type the column number two because I want to get to know the salary of Chandler. Then I'll again press the comma. Now it is asking me true for approximate match and false for exact match. Now what is approximate match? You don't want the exact salary number, but you want an approximate number. But if you select false, you will get the exact number which is mentioned in the table. So I want the exact salary of Chandler. So what I'll do is I'll type false or I can type zero. So I'll type zero and then close the bracket and then hit enter. You can see I have got the salary of Chandler, which is 50,000. If you want to check, we can check it here. Here is his name Chandler and his salary is 50,000. So our formula is working fine. Let's check for the Joey as well. So what we have to do is again is equals to we look up, hit the tab. Now we have to select the lookup value, which is my name Joey. Then again, I'll click on comma. The table array is the value from where we want to get the data. I have selected it. Then again, comma, my salary is in column index number two. So I'll click on number two, then comma. And then I want the exact salary of Joey. So I will press zero and close the bracket and hit enter. So I have got the salary of Joey as well. Now, if I want salary of Phoebe, I can again use the VLOOKUP formula. But what I'll do is I'll just press Ctrl and D 
and it will drag down the formula from up above to the bottom here. You can see PB salary is 72,000 in the formula and if you will go back and check, yes, it is 72,000. So it is working fine. Now some of you might be thinking why we are using VLOOKUP formula. We have the names here. We can get the data from directly here. Why we are using a formula? So let me explain. I have just given you the small table because I want you to understand the formula first. Let's suppose now we have a bigger table. Now if you want to find a particular number or let's suppose you want to update number from here to another workbook where you have so many records to update. Let's suppose of 100 employees. What you will do? We will find for each of them one by one? No. So in that case, what we will do is we will use the VLOOKUP formula. Let's suppose if I need to find the salary of Rachel, what I will do is is equals to we look up bracket open now look up value is my Rachel then I'll click the comma table array is my this table I'll select it then again comma my salary is again in column number two I'll press two here then comma and the range of lookup is I want exact match so I'll click zero and close the bracket it will give me the Rachel salary which is 68,000 we can see it here as well and again I can drag it down here and it will give me the raw salary as well. But pressing this control D won't work if your data set is not in a table range. Let me explain it by giving you another example. Currently it is a table form but let's suppose we have data in not a table form. Okay now if I'll use the VLOOKUP formula again for Rachel from this data set and then I press 2 press 0 bracket close enter so it is giving me Rachel salary. I'll press control D. It is giving me raw salary as well. But you can see in the Rachel salary, my range is from I2 till J44. But in Ross case, you can see my range is dropped down by one column. So what I have to do is I'll just use the formula again. We look up Rachel, comma, my table array. I'll select this table array. Then I won't press comma here. What I'll do is I'll press F4. You can see as soon as I press the F4, I can see some dollar signs. So what those dollar signs represent? This is the freezing of our range. Now, even if we drag the formula range below, it won't change the range of selection. Then I'll press the comma. Then column next number is 2. Then 0 and close the bracket. Hit enter. You can see my value is correct here. Okay. My range is selecting entire data. If I drag it down, it is again selecting my whole data. If I drag down even more, it will select the exact same range. So if I want to get to know the salary of Monica, I can just type her name here and you can see I'm getting her salary. If there is a table, there won't be any issue. It will auto freeze the range. But the data set from where you are getting the value is not a table range. You have to press F4 for freezing the data range. Okay, so I hope this formula is clear to you.